Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 10. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to publish chapter markers directly from ScreenFlow 10 to your YouTube channel. The chapter markers you add in ScreenFlow 10 will show up as clickable links in the description of your YouTube video. And when a viewer clicks on one of the links, it's going to take them to that timestamp in the video and you can name these to make it helpful for your viewers to navigate around the videos. To add chapter markers in ScreenFlow 10, just drag the playhead to a place in the video where you want to add a marker. Then all you need to do is right click or control click right on the playhead. I press the control key. I'm going to click on the playhead. I'm going to choose add marker. And now you need to give a name to your chapter markers. So this is where you want to guide your YouTube visitors on where to go in the video. So for the first one, I'll just call it 01 Introduction. I'll click Create. And when I click off, you see this little orange chapter marker has been created. If you ever want to edit it, just double click on it, rename it, click OK when you're done. And just repeat this process, adding chapter markers throughout your video. So I'm going to move the playhead to a new part of the video. I'm going to right click or control click right on the playhead. You'll see there's marker number one. I'm going to click on Add Marker and enter in the name for marker number two. To delete a marker, just control click or right click right on the marker. You will see a list of all the markers along with the timestamp or where they're located. And you can just select delete marker. To publish your ScreenFlow 10 video to your YouTube channel with chapter markers, go up to the top menu, go to File, Publish To, and select YouTube. Change any settings that you need to here, then click on Sign In to sign in to your YouTube channel. Go ahead and click Allow to give ScreenFlow access to your YouTube channel. Enter the title of your YouTube video. Enter in the description. The description will be above the chapter markers, and the whole key is right here. Check on this box to add chapters from timeline markers. Add the rest of the information that you want on your YouTube video. And then I'm going to click Publish. And this is going directly from ScreenFlow 10 to my YouTube channel. When I check on YouTube Studio, you can see all of the chapter markers that we added in ScreenFlow 10 are in the description box. And if we play the video on YouTube, you'll see in the description there are all the chapter markers that we added with clickable timestamps. Just click on any timestamp. It'll take your viewer right to that part of the video. And that is how you add chapter markers from ScreenFlow 10 to YouTube. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.